Hello Scorpio. I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic and I'm very honored and pleased to be doing your reading for April 2016. I'm so grateful that you took the time to stop and watch my video and I appreciate all of the comments that you give. Whenever you comment that gives me some insight into how the readings have an effect and how I should continue to formulate my readings. Thank you for subscribing and sharing my videos. Something helped you, it may help somebody you know. And to request your own private readings or to share donations in gratitude for the readings that are being given, you can um, follow the instruction here and email there. Uh, the artwork is my own. I wanted to share it with you. If you're interested in acquiring some of my artwork, please contact me. Also by the same email addresses. This month, I've decided to do your reading based on what are the thoughts that are currently weighing on your mind. What are the most pressing concerns for you, Scorpio, for April 2016? Let's discuss the solutions, the advice that the universe, love source God has to give. So, there's some very strong energy going on for the April 2016 readings. And let's see what wants to present itself for you. This one. Okay. We have the moon. The moon. And we're just going to take one card from each of these decks and we will see how they come together. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God, for giving me divine messages with ease and flow and clarity, accuracy for all the Scorpios so that they may see all the things that they can benefit themselves by knowing this one. And Daydreams and Decisions, Seven of Cups. And one more. Thank you, thank you, thank you, love source God. Scorpio for April 2016 for Scorpio. This one. Okay. So, April 2016, Scorpio. With the moon here, some things that are hidden, maybe there's some secrets, maybe there's some surprises, maybe some information will be coming to light to you. And as I go through this reading, I want you to really receive what is coming to you because there's some aspect of your life where this information will resonate. It's up to you to allow it to come out. And I would really love to hear back from you about how that worked out for you. Combined with the Daydreams and Decisions card, which is the Seven of Cups in the traditional tarot, the Moon card is saying to me that you'll have some decisions coming up, maybe because some information is coming out. Maybe some of the options that you think you have are actually not options, but illusions. And... Um, I believe that with this moon card here, you may be you may be needing to follow your intuition. The moon is highly associated with intuition and divine guidance. So you may have a lot of people telling you different things, presenting different offers to you, and by following your intuition just like even in this image, the Seven of Cups image that they use in this deck is somebody who is in a meditative state, seeking their inner guidance, seeking the divine knowledge from within to provide clarity. For you, that would be an excellent intention for the month of April 2016 and some for, for some time around it. Overall, Love Source God, the universal energies wants you to know that you are blessed, that you are receiving, that you are guided, 
that you are intuitive, that you are able to receive it at your very desire. And if you would recognize the areas and the times where you've been blessed, where you've received the knowing that benefited you most, and been able to embrace your blessed state, it's gonna help you to find your way through any instances of confusion, miscommunication, needing to make decisions. So I feel a strong urging to remind you of your inner guidance system. It's just like when you touch the fire, if it hurts, you're in pain so that you can pull back and protect yourself from whatever it is that's hurting you. So as you're going about this next month or so and you're faced with some decisions. Maybe get outdoors, do something either relaxing or fun, and try to just take your mind off of the decisions. And while you're doing this, something will come to you. Sometimes when we focus too hard on a specific thing, we put ourselves in a resistant state. We put, can put ourselves in a resistance state really easily by focusing on a question or a worry or a concern. And so as we take our attention and focus it to our blessings, our fun, and our pleasure, then more things that match that vibration will join our mind train of thought. And so it will help you to find solutions. And we definitely want to be solution-oriented people. We want to live in the present while appreciating all that is and ever will be. I feel like there's a need for clarity and in recognizing all of your blessings, it's going to help you to see clearly what your next move should be. Each of these options that you have available to you is very real, but the outcomes of the options are very different. And so you are at a major crossroads where you're able to choose a path that's going to take you more directly where you want to go or you can take one of these other options and be on more of a roundabout way. And when the moon is in play, it's like trying to take a walk in the forest with moonlight only. You can do it. You can definitely do it. It's so much easier when you have daylight though, because you can see some things that are so much better. So when we have the moon in play here, for this month, it may seem as you move through the month like there might be some little stumblings, some little things that might trip you up. But your challenge is to realize that that's just because there's been a lack of clarity and the clarity will come in as you find these things. You know the little rock is there once you stub your toe on it, right? And so as you're moving around, you'll know not to cross on that exact place again even in the moonlight. I'm also feeling like maybe around the time of the full moon, you'll have to look up the specific date that you may come into feeling, finding some fulfillment of something you've been wanting, and you may come into some clarity at that time. I'm really curious as to how this reading resonated with you. If there were things that hit with you, I would really love to hear back about it. I hope that something in this reading benefited you. And for now, love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine.
Until next time, my dear Scorpios. I love you guys. <laughs>